Hey everyone, I'm back this time with a light installation that I did for the barn shop. Now the reason why I have all the lights off is because I'm going to show a little demonstration of what I installed. And I have installed, I've hung up more halides and I changed one bulb in one of the fixtures I have had available was a mercury vapor. So one light is a mercury vapor and the other is going to be the rest are metal halides. So I'm going to demonstrate, switch is right here, right out. I'm going to demonstrate the startup and see if it works. All right, here we go. They all struck. That one struck. Yep, they all struck. And the center one, the littler one, this is the mercury vapor, has that reddish uh, violet color to it. The rest having that more uh, kind of a yellowish, uh, a palish color to it and then turn kind of blue. Those are halides and there's an LED back there. Just so that there is some light. So one thing to know that there is there is some light. Right when you start them up, so. This one is probably the more favorable one. This, the shade shape is a little more of what I seen as a kid, a lot of, and to remind everyone, the halides are what I've seen or had in every, every school gym, every gym I went to school at, from my grade school to uh, middle school and high school. One thing to note that uh, the halides are gonna actually brighten quicker That's the one thing to know, they're brightening quicker. The mercury vapor tends to reach full brightness slower. And fans are yet to come. I'm uh, debating this pattern here. This is based on where the electrical is and where what I had available for electric. What I actually did electrically, I added one back here, added an outlet so I can hang a fixture back there. Got one there, they're brightening. Let's see if I can get them all in frame. Almost, yep. See there. The center one, that mercury vapor is definitely old school. I mean, street lights, which now I do not have any mercury vapor street lights in my area at all or any area in Wisconsin that I know of. I mean, there's still some high pressure sodiums left. And, but many have been, even the high pressure sodiums are going with LED, so. And even many industrial places, gyms, I remember these getting replaced in the 2010s at workplaces and school gyms, I've noticed. They've all been getting replaced with, uh, in the 2010s it was those T5 fluorescents, but lately they've been using like a, an LED that kind of looks like a fluorescent. <laughs> Okay, so it appears that uh, the halides have reached full brightness, but that mercury vapor in person is still brightening. It's almost there. The mercury vapor is almost there. Let's go. So 
so. And, I mean, yeah, the halides didn't take so long, and those are 400 watts. The mercury vapor bulb is 250. And just a side note, that even though this fixture is actually intended, the ballast is intended for a metal halide like the rest of them, you can put a mercury vapor bulb in that fixture with that ballast. It's actually easier on it just because it's not as harsh, but, but the ballast is meant to handle halides. Just don't put a halide in a mercury vapor ballast though. So you can kind of see the difference. All right, well, and just a note, I have this 12 foot ladder. That's how I hung them all up. So other than that, that's all I have to show until I get some fans up. That's definitely another thing to do. There will be fans going here, more industrials. I'll turn on the upstairs lights. I had them off because I wanted to uh, show the startup but there's the preheats and led for barn lights i almost got this thing in a way like school school lighting old school like those fluorescents there those louvered fixtures I should really turn on the fans i don't know why i didn't do that but there's all the fans and the little designer. So other than that, that is all I have for this, uh, this video. So there'll be more industrials like that over this area. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and keep subscribing.